We are live. And we are sailing, albeit slowly. We have just the Genoa up in the sky, ticking us along at a couple of three knots, two or three knots. And we have a gentle breeze. Eight knots, which is quite nice actually. We're going to put the main up. We have just left that anchorage right there. Kala de Fushi, I think it's called. And there's a bit of wind noise, I suspect. Hello, Lee. Is that Lee from Australia? Um, yes, we. Uh, we thought we may not make it in time actually to get back on the boat. Rachel and I have just been doing some shopping, haven't we, Rach? Yes, which is why I'm in my long sack dress, <laughs> covering up my knees and my shoulders. God forbid anyone see those. Uh, yeah, actually, it's quite nice. Uh, going to town, although very few people about. Ramadan, and no one's out and about. In no. the daytime, in the evening, it's lots of people. In the daytime, no, 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 no. It's very quiet. Very quiet. Hardly, we've hardly seen any children. All the playgrounds are empty. All the sports fields are empty. Um, I've literally seen about two kids the whole time. I think I think school's out at the moment. They spend because it's Ramadan and nobody's eating in the daytime. They spend a lot of time um, just relaxing at home. And that looks like a really smudgy. Which one is the one that's looking at me? The middle one. The middle one's smudgy. I'm just is gonna, it smudgy? Yeah. I'm just going to unsmudge that. Oh, How's that? That's better. Is that nice and clear now? <laughs> <laughs> that is better. Yeah. yeah. Um, well done. But, uh, beautiful towns. I love the towns. Very ordered. It's very pretty windy here. Fun. Is that wind okay? Yeah, Jim is awake. Well done, Jim. <laughs> It's a ridiculous hour there, I know. We're doing another one uh, in... Uh, well, I would say we're not doing another one. But well, we've said we would, so we have to. But well, we can unsay. We can unsay. Yeah. So it's not written in stone. There's no uh, being passed. It's true. Do you want to come close sound to is okay, apparently. The, uh, my sound okay. is apparently okay. Yes. So what am I... Thank you, Peter. So, we've well, okay. we been here. We've been here over a week, haven't we? In Maldives. Just, the people are very nice, um, the, the ones that we've met, but they're, they're so cute. We met some gorgeous guys on um, Nav, Nav, Naviad, Naviado, or something, yeah, Naviado. They were lovely. Yeah. Um, and they Nav, sent us off to Nav a... Nav and Sheen. Uh, they were really nice, if you're watching. And, They've got a uh, dive centre there. So we did mention it, because so we've taken up our bottles in. They showed yeah. us and told us, um, there. And then uh, we stopped at the um, wreck. Yes, we've just been at a beautiful um, uninhabited island, which had a shipwreck at it. Well, not really a shipwreck, it was a, a boat that's obviously been abandoned. Pilot it's boat. Very, it's in very shallow water. Um, and, yeah, what, we literally uh, hardly picked up the camera because uh, I don't know. <laughs> Everywhere we've been, you can't bolt anything. It's just it's beautiful. Um, would like more fruit and veggies. Yeah. Not to find a big fruit and vegetable market, but I, I think we have to. But well, where we've just come from, have one on Saturday. So we we missed that. And I believe Marley have one, and they might be every day. But Marley's a long way off. Now we're doing a 30 miler today and we're going outside the protection of the. Well, you can see we're already. Are we already outside yeah. the protection of the Yeah, well, oh, you can yeah. see it there. It's just see the lumpiness there. Yeah. So we are going to be sailing down into that yeah. for the next four or five hours. In fact, yeah. I'm just going to make a slight course change here. Yeah. Just going to go yeah. 10 degrees to starboard. I'll show you where, we're, where we are heading. Oh, I don't know. I need to go to port. Do we go to starboard? I need to go to port. Uh, so this is the island we're heading down to now. Not where the red mark is showing, there's a black. Yeah. Where that is there? It's a big jump. 
27 miles, so we just, we just got going. Yeah. It's, supposed to be a, it's supposed to be perfection, this island. Back to you, Rachel. Yeah. Well, the island we're going to is supposed to be stunning. So the island we've just come from yesterday was stunning. I uh, could have looked, stayed there a lot longer. It's just, it's very spread out, the Maldives. Yeah. Very, most of them are quite small islands. That was quite a big one we've just been to go shopping. Um, most of them are quite small and there's, it's very difficult to pick which ones to go to because there are so many. A lot of them don't have anchorages, so that helps to uh, eliminate them. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's very different from Southeast Asia. Uh, we didn't do it, you know, the, the islands that we went to, yeah. I think it may be Ramadan and maybe yeah. Ramadan finished yesterday, but apparently goes on for six more days for the fasting. So, yeah. We didn't realise that we came here specifically. Yeah, we thought it was going to be a big celebration. <laughs> we came yeah. to this island because we thought, oh, in Ramadan we had lots of fun, and I'm sure everyone will be out eating and stuff. We had to wait a long time for our food yesterday. And yeah. I don't think that had anything to do with the end of Ramadan, yeah. though. It was interesting. And we went to a we went to a restaurant. That a taxi driver said, "Oh, you'll get food here." So we went to the restaurant. We ordered some food. Ivan, Declan and I ordered butter chicken. And the lady said, yeah, that's fine. Bob ordered what was fish, the curry. Order? fish curry. So the lady goes away, comes back, no fish curry. So Bob orders... Beef curry. No, I thought you had beef and fish. Uh, yeah, and yeah, no so beef, no, yeah. But then he orders, he says, oh, can I have a biryani? Uh, no, that would take an hour and... Yeah, I, I an want hour. a mutton, mutton biryani. Yeah. It'll take over an hour to get. Okay, we won't get that. Then he orders um, tandoori chicken. So we've ordered butter chicken. He's ordered tandoori chicken. Lady goes away, comes back, says no tandoori chicken. He says, okay, just give me butter chicken. I'll have the same that. But he also ordered the fish and chips. So we sit and we wait and we wait and we're like, this is taking a long time. Oh, Nobody gosh. else is eating in the whole entire restaurant. They're just drinking. Uh, even though the sun had gone down, so it was a drink at the time. So, an hour, just over an hour passes and there's no light in the restaurant. The lights didn't come on, it just got dark and dark. So Rob goes in and says, um, have you, you know, it, oh, we have no chicken. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> no want chicken. to come and tell us. They said there's no chicken. The butter, butter chicken was also No off. butter chicken. No butter chicken. And so we sat there for an hour waiting for our meal and Anyway, I digress. It's, I mean, not I digress. It's just a bit boring. But it was just, you know, it was just it, <laughs> interesting. They did only do one meal that night, but they didn't bother to tell us that until an hour had passed. So we had the meal. The only meal that was available was uh, chicken fried rice. Even though they had no chicken, they could do chicken fried rice. But it was that, like little cubes of chicken, and and it was good. And it was very good. But you know, they could have told us that an hour earlier, and that's what we would have ordered if that's the only thing you're doing. So um, that was our experience, and we ate in the dark. It's like one of those um, restaurants where they, only the blind <laughs> uh, yeah. serve you, <laughs> and so it's in the dark and you can't see your food. That was our restaurant last night. We had to turn on the light of the phone to check what we'd ordered or what had arrived. So. I'm just going to show the people, in case you haven't seen these sort of maps before, some of you may not have. So that's the Maldives there in its entirety. There's India up there, there's Sri Lanka. I'll just zoom in again so you can see more detail. This is the sort of thing maps, navigation maps we use. And uh, gosh, sorry, I haven't been reading comments. Actually, I should have, my, my bad. So you get an idea of, and then you zoom in a little tighter. That's the, that's the place we're going to right now. Yeah. Put that right there. And, but Navionics cannot be trusted, so we won't be. Oh no, we don't, when we get close to atolls. I'll show you what we use. We use Zulu. Uh, Zulu, offshore, and then... And that's, that's where we've just been, the island we've just been to, and you see back here, so there's, that's where we are, and we're heading down. This map doesn't give us things we can uh, go to, I think it's that one there. Anyway, you'll see, we'll, we'll download the map, and you get a lot better clarity, so you can see where the coral is a lot better, and it's like a Google map, I suppose. Anyway, there you go. I think we'll wind it up. Yeah. Just a quick one today. Just a quick one today. We're off sailing. I want to, I want to lift the main. 
Um, and what was I going to say? I was going to say the cat. Actually, you know, the cat's come with us. The cat was allowed into the country, <laughs> the, uh, but the cat in in Malaysia, which is a Muslim country, they like cats. They don't like dogs. Cats are everywhere in Thailand. But they dogs are also in Thailand. Here, you can bring a cat and a dog in, but they don't seem to want them to go ashore at all. They, um, not that the cat goes ashore very often, but we were tied up at the jetty there, and she does like to jump off. Just Good night, Robert. Yeah. Had to restrict her. Robert and Nancy Boss. Yes, I, yeah, okay. Good night, Robert and Nancy Boss. Uh, you messaged us the other day, and I think, gosh, just, do we know you guys? I couldn't quite remember where. Have we met? I'm not sure. Maybe we just met online here. Yeah. They're not the people we met in Koh Phangan, are they? Yeah, they're not the people we met in Koh Phangan. No. Ramadan mass shooting in Pennsylvania. Prayers for the victims' families. Was that anything to do with Ramadan? Just the messages of Ramadan mass reading. Oh. Yeah, well, it seems like a very peaceful yeah. country over here, but I believe uh, Mali is a different story altogether. Everywhere else is great. Mali will be interesting. We're heading in that direction, but it'll take us a while to get there, another week or so. Oh, it's very sad. Okay. All right, people. On that note, you can see sure, it's a little bit, sweet. it's a little bit lumpy, bumpy out there. Um, we're gonna, island. we're gonna throw up the main now. I'm gonna release the sail, and uh, it's, it's actually 10 to 15 knots now. It's just picked up a little bit since we've been talking. And it's really, and it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable. Would it be better if we went? Would it be smoother if we went inside? A longer, but smoother. Well, yeah, maybe. No. All right. Good right, on you, Declan. Declan. He's been working all this time. Clean in the deck. Little footprints, mainly the cats. Cat prints down there. Alright, mate, you want to say farewell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Farewell! Sayonara! Oh! What? Oh, what? what did the guy say to buyers in. Sukurai. Sukurai. No, Sukurai is hello. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. I just learned to buy enough to buy it here. Ben. Benny. Benny, I think it is. Is it? Benny. All right, Benny. Lots of love to you all. Bye. See you later.